Hi guys, welcome to a new YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you my Farlight 84 settings on PC. Now, I know that there's not a lot of guides out there, so I hope this helps someone out. Okay, so for the general settings, I have auto overcome obstacles while sprinting off. The reason being is because I want to have full control over my character on PC. I think this was a setting that was initially made for mobile players. So if you're on PC, I would highly recommend you turn it off because sometimes it makes you hop over edges or even walls that you don't want okay so for climbing sensitivity i put this on custom and basically what i did is i upped all of the values all the way to the max and the reason for that is because i want the game to feel as snappy and tactile as possible for skill casting mode i put it on cast on release so basically you press a button and when you release it it actually releases the ability as well i don't think double tap to cast was meant for pc Maybe it was, let me know in the comments. Damage numbers for me are stacked, but this is pretty much preference. A squad info notifications is on for me. If you don't know what this means, this basically means that whenever your allies get attacked, their character will talk. They say, oh, I'm getting shot at, or oh, I spotted an enemy. So for me, this is useful information, so I leave it on. I know some people prefer this off because they actually are very aware of what is happening in the game but if you don't have a lot of experience in battle royales or if you think this is useful information definitely leave it on i have only allow invites from mutual followers the reason being is because otherwise people can invite you to the lobby and i think that's very annoying automatically switch weapons when out of ammo i think that should be on especially if you're new to shooter games Maybe if you're a very experienced battle royale player, turn it off. But even for me, I find it useful. A lot of friend spectators is on for me. Unless, you know, if you're shy and if you don't want people to want to see your gameplay, then maybe turn it off. Unable to others to reserve spots. I have this turned off because I think it's not necessary. Streamer mode is off. Highlights record is on. If you like watching some highlights from your match, you can turn this on. Enable outline enemy border is on for me. I think this is nice. Screen special effects when being hit is on for me. And if you don't know what this is, basically when you are like very low on HP, the borders of the screen actually turn red and they start blinking. For me, I like that personally. If you do not like that or if you think it's too tacky, definitely turn it off. Minimap rotation is on, but again, this is preference. Now, let's go over some of the graphic settings. So, if you are on PC and you're trying to get max FPS possible, then this is what you should be running. So, display mode should always be on full screen. I would definitely not recommend playing on windowed mode or borderless mode. Mm -mm. If you're trying to get max FPS, full screen is the way to go. You have to select your correct monitor and under that you can also select the graphics quality. Now I run my game on smooth because this is what gives me the best frames possible. If you want to have a pretty looking game then you should go for HDR, Ultra or Extreme. For the frame rate and this is a little bit odd in Farlight 84 because you could here is where you could tell that this was actually a mobile game first. So you have a frame rate of low, medium, high and very high. Now what does this mean? So very high will be 240 FPS. High will be for 144 and up. Medium will be for 60 FPS and low is for 30 FPS. For the visual style, I would highly recommend just choosing default or fresh. Brightness is turned down for me to 45%. Again, this is preference. If you are trying to get max FPS, again, anti-aliasing should be off. Anti-stropic filtering should be at one. And sun shadow detail should be off as well. This is to get max FPS, guys. Again, you can mess around a little bit with these settings if you want if you want your game to look prettier. But if you're trying to get for max frames, then this is the way to go. Anti-aliasing switch is going to be off. Vertical sync is going to be off. Guys, never, ever, 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 ever enable vertical sync in your games if you're playing on PC. Please and thank you. Uh, gamma should be on default and field of view should be on max. If you are struggling with max field of view uh, with aim, you can turn it down a little bit, maybe to 85 or 80, but I would not recommend going under 80. So for keyboard and mouse, and here is where it gets tricky because I know a lot of people look up sensitivity for Farlight 84. I see you. Me personally, I am running a mouse sensitivity of 1.5 with 800 dpi. And if we go to the advanced settings, these are my settings for the camera options. Please give it a pause if you want to copy over. And these are the settings for my firing. But ideally, you actually want to adjust these settings to your liking. Okay? It is so important to find the right sensitivity in Farlight, guys. Because if your sensitivity is too fast, you will overcompensate. If your sensitivity is too low, you're going to be too slow and turning around 
is not possible and you'll get killed for the vehicle sensitivities i never really changed anything about this so i just kept it on default now if we go down a little bit and we go to conduct we have aiming mode you can either have it on hold or switch personally i prefer hold this is literally just preference guys for sprinting mode it should be on auto your character will automatically run no need to hold shift and break your pink finger i see you medical roulette is going to be press use stick roulette is going to be press use and consumable display style is for me on roulette okay if you do not know what this means is basically by i think by default it's actually on expand but if you put it on roulette basically it will give you a roulette just like in Apex Legends, where you can select the heal that you want with the press of one button. Again, preference. And if you want to have custom bindings, all you have to do is go into this tab, bind key, click on the arrow, and over here you can rebind everything you want. I've changed some things around, but nothing too crazy. So again, if you see something interesting, you can pause the video and you can, you can copy it over. But this is how I run the game. So for the sound, I have quality on ultra. I have disabled the background music because I think it's annoying. Sorry, devs. For the mic and chat volume. So I have everything on low. Um, basically, this will just be preference. If you want to play in squads and have mic on, you can have that on. Audio output device is your headset. Audio input device is your microphone. So make sure to actually select the right things because otherwise you might hurt people's ears. You can also choose push to talk or open mic. Although I have to say in this game, I prefer open mic because the push to talk is so bad. Half of the time, it doesn't even work. So if you want to talk to people in game, you have to use open mic. As for the language uh, over here, you can actually pick your local language. So if I want to have the game in French, I will click on French. Uh, you also have voice packs and these are downloadable voice packs, guys. By default, it will only give you the English one, but you can actually download other voice packs you can download in filipino spanish portuguese i think this is chinese and this is japanese so last but not least we have a custom tab all the way on the bottom that a lot of people forget about and this tab is actually pretty useful so you can actually change the color of the the way you see your squad mates i personally like it in green so basically when they're inside a building it will highlight them in green and it will show me that they're actually there by default it is actually set on gray and as you can see this is super hard to see especially in certain areas so i would highly recommend you kind of turn it into a flashy color that you like and that should help you out for the enemy outline color you can actually change it as well so if you're colorblind or if for some reason red is not good for you you can actually change it to something else me personally i like it in red and you can also change the color of the hit effects color if you scroll down to the last option battlefield sound visualization basically this is a setting that allows you to see sound and i would highly recommend you have this on but by default it is actually on don't turn this off guys but if you do want to turn it off you can actually just turn down the opacity to zero and it won't be visible anymore these are my settings of farlight 84 on pc if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you out make sure to give it a like and i'll see you guys in the next video take it easy